All right. Welcome anyone that is watching the recording. As always, this is all for educational purposes. Nothing we are going over today will be for any type of investment advice. So the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about uh, CHK from this morning. Um, this was just, ah, man, it's every once in a while you get these gifts. And I know, you know, we've been, we've been working on a lot of anticipating when the actual volume is going to come in and when these volume spikes are going to be there. Um, and CHK once again was just absolutely perfect. So let's go over what we talked about this morning. Let's just blow this up real quick so we can see it a little bit better. So as we know, the first thing that we're going to look at usually when we go into our pre-market is we look to see if we have anything from the previous days within a range. Um, to see, you know, where any type of uh, uh, triggers came in, any type of big volume and stuff like that. And, and unfortunately, with CHK this morning, we didn't have that. But as we all remember, the closer we are to, to this second, so the closer we are to the price going on right at this moment, is always going to be the most valid information that we're going to be using. So the first thing that just jumps out at us and that jumped out at this morning when we were going over during our meeting was our volume spike right here at 473. So at 473, what we're going to do is we're going to round up to our 475 level. So this morning in our meeting, if everyone remembers, the number that we were looking to and we were looking for was 475. This is where we were going to take this trade because, as we know, the seller came in right here and, and you know, and sold off a bunch to try to keep the stock down. <clears throat> so I was actually going over this in one of uh, my coachings earlier, but we were talking about watching what this person was doing. So we, we see right here, we still had a bunch of uh, other volume spikes that were popping in right, right under that 475 level. So this seller right here was trying to keep the stock. They didn't think it was worth more. They were trying to keep the stock below that 475 level. So what happened and what we were able to anticipate and what we were watching and waiting for during, you know, during our morning meeting and then coming right into the opening of the market was the stock breaking that 475 and being able to anticipate the volume of the buyers coming in and pushing the stock up. And just like clockwork, just exactly how we, you know, we thought it was going to happen. Stock came right here. We came right above that 475 level. Not only we did, you know, was it a pretty simple trade that we were anticipating, but we were also we had about two minutes to get in at that 475. Now, this is one of those trades that you would have been, you know, for a more advanced trader, you'd be holding from the pre-market into the actual market. Because as we see, the volume came in, volume spike, and it just there was no looking back from that 475. Now, 475 was a minor level. And I know a lot of you aren't taking trades this close to the open during the pre-market. So let's go to our second entry that we had. We can see right at 931, we had a 250,000 share trade at 498. So 498 now becomes our new level coming up. And if we look, this trade just held perfectly above that 498 level. We can see the buyers came in and held it up and up and up. Even if we waited till after five, we had a ton of buying come, came, uh come in at that moment we had great prints um, one thing that we did talk about during the the pre-market was that it does take a lot to move this thing and if we look at our volume down here i mean you're talking about over millions of shares and spikes now if we were to take these these volume spikes and put them on top of each other from the up and the down tick i mean you're talking about you know almost two million shares that this thing was trading quite heavily for many of the minutes during the open um, but then we just had a beautiful trade come right above that five level. And it, once again, really no looking back. Now, we did have our pullback right here, right at about five, uh, 550, right in that area. But once again, as we were explaining in that pre-market, based off the amount of volume and the amount of trading that was going in, there wasn't enough selling compared to everything that was happening to keep this stock down. So even though we did have a pullback, we can look right here at this last volume spike. And we can anticipate again, once it comes back up here and whatever seller that came in here to push it back down, once it came right above that 555 area, so the volume spike itself was at 555, we had another great trade over a major level. And this thing made it almost all the way up to six. Now, th this there's not much more we could ask for in a trade. We have an inexpensive stock. We were given a gift for it, not only at 475, but then again at five. And then it's just been nothing but great since then. Now, let's keep in mind as well is that we're coming up to another point at this moment 
Now we're looking right here. Now six is the level. We're not going to get in under six because six we know is going to be a major level. But I am expecting more volume to come in and this trade to continue on its way once we can break the sellers that came in to push it down originally. And we can see we have a little bit of a bull flag actually forming as we speak at the moment. So does anyone have any questions on that trade? I mean, we called it out in this morning meeting to to almost the penny of exactly how we were going to take this trade and i know almost all of you were trading it as well which i love to see that i love to see when everyone takes you know something that we went over and you know that many of you apply it all at once how'd everyone do with that trade i know i saw a bunch of you uh, throwing out profits on it and i mean you know when we're able to anticipate the big one of the biggest things that we just have to realize with anticipating a trade it's essentially just counting cards the the market makers are showing us their exact hand and telling us what they're going to do before it happens so when we see something like that once like i said i mean it's pretty much a gift we we know exactly exactly where it's going to pop up we, you know, we can see the trade and it just, it, you know, it worked exactly the way that it should have. Donna plus 68. Very nice. I know I saw a lot of you got that, but most of you, and like I said, you know, I don't expect a lot of you to be taking those, you know, trades that close to the, the pre-market, but at the same time, we had another, at a major level at five, we saw that guy come in for 250,000 shares and it was just, he can't, he can't ask for anything more than that. Bruce, 75 cents and two. I mean, that's, that's, that's great. You got to think about, I mean, we get a little bit spoiled with how, uh, how much we see, you know, stocks move and how much that, you know, that we take out of them. And, you know, we have a, a lot of great traders. So you kind of, you know, 25 cents, sometimes you think like, oh, it's, you know, it's only 25 cents, but think about, you know, how many traders out there just for 25 cents, let alone 75 cents, but just 25 cents. Um, each morning on a trade, you know, in a few minutes, I, how much more could you ask than that? Now, once again, like I said, I am expecting volume to start to pop into this thing. I'm coming above this resistance level here. Now, if it does break six, we should see a nice little run here. We have about 300,000 shares sitting at six on the ask side, which is, you know, something that we're going to have to pay attention to. Um, but other than that, I, this this thing is just was was great. And we, you know, I know I wrote a blog on uh, on this the other on um, anticipating and uh, and using you know the research that we did from yesterday and you know bringing it over today. CHK was one of our you know first stocks that we had on our list yesterday. Now it never really made its move, but then today it's just set up perfectly for us. So we already knew that people were loading up, that the stock was consolidating, gapped up in the pre-market. I mean it, this this is one of those things where it just had so many different variables, you couldn't go wrong taking it. 